Hey everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my introduction to clogging, the verbal part anyway. Um, before we get started with the videos and the how-to, I thought I'd give you a little bit of background on myself and what clogging is all about. Um, I currently live in New Jersey and I have for a while, but I was born and raised in Vermont and I started clogging when I was 10 years old with a 4-H clogging group called the Adidac Cloggers. Um, it's been a long time since then, but I never stopped clogging and um, it really changed my life. I absolutely love it. There's nothing quite like it and uh, so I want to share that with you. The first thing I want to go over though is what makes clogging so different. You may be familiar with uh, progressive dances like Irish step dancing and tap dancing. Both tap dancing and clogging are derived from Irish step. Um, and other, um, you know, percussive styles of dance from the British Isles that came over to America. So they are uniquely American folk dances, but they kind of went their own ways. Tap dancing went kind of urban, and clogging is, I guess you could call it, its country cousin. So it's traditionally done um, in the Appalachian regions of America. It's all over now, but um, as far out as California, down in Florida, and obviously up in Vermont, but real big in Appalachia um, and out west. But um, traditionally, it was done to um, traditional country, western music, bluegrass, although it's very versatile and can be done to all kinds of things, um, oldies, pop music, what have you. But the styling is still very different from tap, and the number one thing that makes it different are the shoes. So we start with the soft leather Oxford shoe. This style happens to be laced up so that it fits your foot nice and tightly, but the real magic is in the taps. So instead of a like a regular tap shoe that has just one plate of metal, clogging shoes have two. It's called the jingle tap. So this second plate is riveted on, okay, these two little dots. And so this plate of metal is loose and so it taps against itself and makes extra noise. This is a buck style jingle tap. So this piece of metal wraps around the toe here. So when you hit the floor, it makes a little more noise and it also protects the sole. The sole on my shoe happens to be a very thick leather, which is nice because otherwise I'd burn right through it. <laughs> um, but uh, that's part of what makes it sound so different. It's a very heavy, distinctive sound. And the other part that makes it sound so different is the way that we dance. It's very heavy. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on the heel of our foot. And in the style that I happen to do, the traditional drag slide type clogging, we're actually chugging and bending our knees a lot and it's making this heel hit the ground very heavily and um, it makes an extra sound. So um, I'm going to show you that when we get into the introductory portions you're going to see we're going to spend a lot of time bending our knees. That's what makes clogging sound so different, gives it a distinctive look and feel and there's nothing like it. Drag slide is kind of falling out of favor for some of the newfangled stylings which are very cool but um, drag slide is, is really close to my heart, so we're going to keep it alive. Alright, so I think that's uh, pretty much all you need to know for right now. So stay tuned for the installments of um, the clogging basics. We're going to go from bending, um, um, a great exercise step, all the way through basics, and we're going to end up doing a routine that you can put to just about any song to get you started, alright? So have fun, and um, stay tuned.